Cyberspace. The final frontier? These are the broadcasts of the Hanoi Diaries. Its continuing mission to explore strange new tunes, to seek out new highs and party with all civilizations, to boldly flow where no one has flown before. Together. 
step off that plane and into a wall of hot, sticky heat. The thick air enveloping me like in a lucid dream. Only carrying bold ambition, no worldly possessions in tow. To thank for that was Aeroflot, who left my bag in Moscow. If this city can be described in one word, that word is alive. Its inhabitants buzz about like in a busy beehive. Swarms of scooters honking their hooters, moving together like schools of fish. Yielding right of way is right out of the question. You just drive straight in. Red lights are but a suggestion. A world of fast-tracked friends, a sense of fun without end. A place where people are just themselves. There's no need to pretend. Well, I've already leveled up and I'm now ready to feed the beast. The gloves are coming off in this wild, wild east. As always, the clock's ticking, so what'll I do? Everything I can, damn it, and some extra stuff too. I want to take cool photos, I want to write some rhymes. I want to find myself for like the seventh time. I want to learn the local customs and dine and off the street. I want to fall a bit in love with every person that I meet. I want to stay up all night waiting for the sun to rise above the clouds. But then end up missing it because I'm too busy making out. I want to smoke the local weed and drink iced tea too. I'm trying all the new things. Don't get me started on the food. Fa, Bunxia, Bunzio, Zhao Muang, Zui Kuang, Kum Chai, and Kao Lo. I want to soak up the city's vibes every day and every kind as I step outside my front door to breathe in that fresh. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm here to remind myself that destiny can be mine. It's choose your own adventure. And my choice is adventure every time. I want to share my energy and get high on connection with someone who gets me and understands my direction. I'm going to flirt with Jupiter and ask the moon to dance. I'll stare right into the eye of that great thing we call coincidence. I'm striving for that experience most potent of being completely at peace with just the present moment. I'm not thinking about my life plan and the things I'm supposed to do. I'm not worried about my pension or even my next solid poo. I'm here now to feel. And what I feel is joy. Well, shit, son. Looks like you made it. Welcome to Hanoi. Now it's time to play some disco.
Captain's Log, Stardate 04032021. After much preparation, I'm finally making my first entry in the Hanoi Diaries. My own irregular way of chronicling this particular period of life as I find myself caught up in the beautifully chaotic hustle and bustle of Vietnam. So, the purpose of this mission is twofold. To treat it a bit like a diary, where I can comment and reflect on things of note that happen around me in this peculiar life. See, I could never be arsed to pick up a pen and write my thoughts into a notebook, but if I go to all the effort of constructing a full-blown studio setup in my spaceship slash apartment, sure, why the hell not? Let's make it a diary fit for the 24th century, shall we? And the other goal is to have somewhere to channel my creative energies into a showcase where I can share new mixes and mashups that I've put together as I delve further into the craft of DJing, as well as dropping the occasional spoken word piece and a wee ramble where I can. Those words you heard earlier were my first impressions of this wonderful town, um, which I wrote soon after arriving back here in June 2019. And the sounds underneath it I recorded yesterday in the flower market, right there beside my house. My wee trusty field recorder getting to good use. So yep, in case you didn't know, Fluid Druid is my artist moniker, and you'll find that this means that all definitions and genres are going to be very blurred indeed. There are no rules. Everything is permitted. So essentially, my intention is that this will fall somewhere in between being like a radio show and a vlog but it's definitely not a podcast. Either way, it's nice to have you along for the ride. Okay, so let's talk a little about the tunes that we've heard thus far. My hope is that each episode of the Hanoi Diaries will have a loose theme, and the theme for this pilot episode is Space Disco. Come here, it's a weird time for the Earth. So I want to blast off on a note of power, positivity, and joy. And there really is no other genre that can quite do that like disco. Am I right? I still want to keep things fresh though, and I'm keen to steer clear of what's normal or expected. So you'll notice that the focus has been on tasteful edits and remixes that you might not be as familiar with. Uh, This last track that you heard was by Gay Marvin where he essentially took Sheik's Lost in Music and did all sorts of funny things with it, and then I took it and tried to do some further funny things to it. Before that was a brand spanking new release, like so hot right out of the oven over here, new, Um, and that is the Reflexes edit of Do What You Wanna Do by the one and only Niall Rogers. Here's a fun fact, and this really wasn't intentional, but Niall Rogers has actually featured on the guitar for every single of the first four tracks that I've played for you. Obviously, uh, he's the main man behind Sheik, but also Sister Sledge. And earlier we heard their tune, Thinking of You, with Dimitri from Paris on the remix. And kicking off the show, we had Niall's guitar riff in that wonderful intro to Lose Yourself to Dance by the forever amazing Daft Punk. That was taken from their, I guess, now final album, Random Access Memories. And look at, come here, come here. I know, I know that album. It was already eight years ago now. Ugh. But truly, I was gutted to hear that they broke up last week. And, uh, well, if this is going to be a diary, I have to speak a little about that. Because um, I really thought they had another one in them. Uh, I should say, for context, and this is relevant, Daft Punk were my very, very first introduction to electronic music. 
you know, and credit where it's due, my parents, my friends all gave me a very healthy and diverse musical education, but I'd honestly never listened to anything remotely electronic before I was 16 years of age. It was a real, um, it was a real, uh, I guess it was a, a moment of musical maturity for me when I found myself in a CD shop in Spain. I remember this so well. I was in a CD shop in Spain and I was looking for like just just new tunes, you know. I was looking for um, new albums to give a good rinse to and I'd already picked up, and this will help kind of give you an idea of where I was at, I'd already picked up My Chemical Romance, The Black Parade, which I'm sure will agree is also just a great album, you know. <laughs> but I wanted something to balance it out. I wanted something to balance it out because I knew I knew I was in the process of growing out of those more angsty emo um, adolescent years, and uh, I was looking for something different. And it's it's so funny. Like I was like it really was just one of these things where I was looking at like you know what felt like hundreds of CDs in front of me, looking through different things, and one of them just caught my eye, and I I picked it up, and I'm like, huh, Daft Punk. I just you know I. I think I heard someone mention them once, but I, I, could, I couldn't for the life of me think of why else, but it just looked like the right thing to get at that time. And uh, sure enough, that happened to be 2001's Discovery. And damn it, if it didn't change my life. Uh, I, still, I still think that's one of the best albums of all time. And it really kicked in the door for me in terms of the world of electronic music and set me up for everything that came um, after that. So yeah, you know, with that said, you know, end of an era and all that. But we are, we're never going to stop seeing the direct effects of Daft Punk's influence, I'm sure. Um, you, you'll, you'll see a lot of their music in in my productions here. I'm actually working on yet another tasty new original mashup of one of their classics that I am saving and will be serving at the start of the next episode of the Hanoi Diaries. Bursting with ideas here. So yeah, watch this space disco. Okay, so that's enough of a ramble. I want to keep the tunes flowing. I want to keep the tunes flowing, and uh, let's see, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so I want to bring this up. Okay, so it is time now to bring in some tropical housey vibes with Nine Toes and what I think is the catchiest steel drum riff since the Wailers. The song never fails to, never fails to uh, take me back to uh, a certain time, but uh, yeah, it's called Finder and after this I'm going to take it to church.
Oh my. Oh my. What a powerhouse of a tune. Doesn't it just give you goosebumps? Okay, so yes, Calling Out is the song. Sophie Lloyd is the mastermind behind it. It might be from 2018, but she brought in the Dames Brown trio to give it that authentic, old-school gospel feel. Okay, so one thing I would like to make a feature of the Hanoi Diaries is to find something in each episode to be grateful for. A gratitude journal, if you will. Now, this might sound a little corny, but hear me out. Hear me out, okay? So, according to my good friend Science, When we express gratitude and receive the same, our brain releases dopamine and serotonin, the two crucial neurotransmitters responsible for our emotions. These are the things that make us feel good. They enhance our mood immediately, making us feel happy from the inside. No yolks required. (laughs) So what am I grateful for this week? Well, yeah, oh man, my grandmother, got her first vaccine shot there on Monday, and it was such awesome news, really. Uh, And look, I know, nobody's out of the woods yet, and there is certainly a ways to go, but yeah, I guess it just really gave me a sense of there being some kind of a light at the end of this tunnel of madness, and yeah, the sooner everyone can get this job, the sooner we can all focus on what kind of a brave new world we want to see for ourselves. And maybe I can go home. I hope you get yours soon. Okay, back to the space disco, please. What have we got here? There we go. So, something not in English, please. Is that all right? All right. Well, the Norwegian artist Home CPU made this groovy number back in 1981. And then more recently, another Norwegian bloke by the name of Todd Terrier, Mr. Inspector Norse himself, decided to work his magic on it and do all sorts of wonderful things. The song is called Fussfor.
okay. Well, it's time for me to go. But before I do, I would like to broadcast some birthday shout-outs from this week to Anna in Halong City, Pam, Phelan, and Pele back in Ireland, and here in Hanoi, my good birthday, my, my good birthday, my good buddy Cam, we perhaps the world's best undiscovered electronic music producer. But more on that another time. This is where I sign off. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for this maiden voyage of the Hanoi Diaries. Tasuligan Gurbanshi of Tanya Vasan Klor. I've had a lot of fun, and I'm excited to see where we go from here. Okay. And uh, closing out our space disco is Sean Finn and DJ Blackstone with their cosmic rendition of a chic classic Le Freak. Let's do this again sometime, eh? Stay weird, and may the force be with you. Got you down, has your head spinning all around. 